Wow. Okay. Hey everybody, Joel Friend Professor. It's uh, time for a little bit of Joystick and Life. We are streaming Alien Isolation today. Uh, so we're streaming right now. Uh, we're going to start a brand new game. We're not going to run any of the head tracking software or any of the noise detection stuff. We're going to go with a medium... Uh, there we go. We're going to go with a little bit of medium on this so we can actually see what we're doing uh, on our display. But anyhow, if you haven't played this game, it's, uh, it's pretty intense. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. Parker. Brett. Ash. And Captain Dallas. Are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of the Nostromo. Signing off. Ominous. Ominous. And of course, this beginning of the game, you're going to see some uh, uh, little CG at the beginning, and then we launch right into the game. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's... Proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a permanent freeport. I know center. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you? If you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. Ominous. Yes, ominous.
Oh, you jump out in your underpants. All right. This game's getting uh, getting to a good start. <laughs> All right. So let's check in. I love everything is I love the future is all flashing buttons and CRT, man. Ah. Uh, here's Samuels. Nobody's here. Connor. Taylor. Verlaine and you. All right. By the way, I have somebody working in my garage right now, so get a little bit of that noise. We're putting up a Christmas tree in the background, so. Alright, so here is storage. Up oh, there's your legs. Put on some clothes. go save the game man it's like going to bowling when I was a kid this looks just like the screens you'd see at bowling showing you your score I know kind of dumb anywho let us proceed let's take a look around the Torrens man eh, she's a pretty ship there's the airlock. And then there's another hall. Oh, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor okay? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go oh, I bet it was. Alright, so this is your med bay. Take our tour of the ship here. Can we climb the ladder? No, we cannot. Aw, oh, man. See, that would have been cool. Alright, so let's walk through the hall here. Oh, lights come on. Oh, electricity's coming on. Okay. And here's Taylor. Oh, good there's morning. Taylor. Ripley, it's certainly not good. I very much doubt it's morning either. Sorry. I feel like death. I, don't I feel like death right now too. You get used to it. I feel like death. Where's my beer? Most legal execs don't <laughs> Just travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Waylon Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. 
The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. Realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and you... Whoa. It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Yeah, lady. Thanks for reminding me about my mom. I appreciate it. Looks like we're up. Well, let's see. We got the we got the uh, cappuccino espresso machine here, and we have some sort of display with blinky lights. And I'm guessing these are food dispensers because we have corn flakes, bran flakes, and porridge oats. What are porridge oats? Is that like oatmeal? Porridge oats? Then we have milk, butter, clam, soclay. Round the corner fudges, man. Did you say milk, milk, lemonade? My wife just made a dirty joke off air. She said milk, milk, lemonade, round the corner fudges, man. <laughs> You're horrible. Okay, there's okay, there's tomato ketchup spelt properly. K-E-T-C-H-E-P. So I see still the future. They know how to spell it properly. Apparently they like their, their their corn and bran flakes in this uh in this game for some reason. What's in here? Ooh, stuff that we will need for our adventure. Let's go over here and just look around real quick before we uh hit the bridge. Ooh, CRT, man. The height of technology. Was it Kane that got his chest ripped, or was it Brett? I can't remember. No, it was it was Kane that uh, got the uh, chest burster. That's right. Let's look at the manifest of the Torrens. Okay, Captain Verlaine, also owner. Should just be a simple, you know, mission. The Naval Cookbook. Wow. Let's go over here. Ah, oh, what do we have here? A hungry, hungry hippo. All right. What kind of jams we can put on here? I mean, what? We don't have batteries in the future that'll power boom boxes like this? As you notice, it uses really nice analog technology here. It uses a tape player. Kids, there was a thing that was... If you're, if you're born pre-1990, there was a thing called a cassette player. Had this magnetic tape in a little case. You put it in, you play tapes. Yeah. I remember tape players. I had a ton of singles. I had a ton of singles, as they called them. All right, so let's head to the bridge. By the way, this ship looks very comfy. Nice, nice comfy walls. Hope you all had a restful journey. Where did he come from? Jeez. In very good order for an old M-class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sebastian. Marshal Tom Waits? Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Well, we take a walk around. Here is here's their computer. This is like mother. Oh, look, it's mother. 
That's the computer core. And we won't grab our briefing documents just yet. We'll just take a look around the deck. Ooh. Buttons and what sounds like uh, punch card machines. Yeah. Yeah, you would figure if, if we could do travel like this, we could we could build a display right here, you know, like the Enterprise. Nope, alas, they, they want to go with Windows. Excuse me, Taylor, out of the way. Thank you. Ooh, now that's pretty. That's a pretty sight. Mm-hmm. All right. Looks pretty cool. All right, here's our briefing docs. Let's grab them. Grab our briefing file, and that uh, kicks us to our ship. Which, by the way, that's kind of like the ship I have in... Uh, I'm getting Star Citizen. <laughs> Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Now I heard a neat little fact about the uh, Is that about the displays in here. Looks like damage. Like stuff like Punch this. They used uh they, they did the CG and then they ran the graphics kind of through a uh, like a VHS type filter or through a VHS machine. And that look that's what makes it look all grainy. And it's so analog. But anywho, continue the game. Tony Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. Hello, Marshal? Mar Marshal, this is the Torrid. Say again? <laughs> Yep, 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 Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Alright. Here we go. Depressurizing. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Oof. Affirmative. Man, that Taylor is such a girl. <laughs> I'm scared. Pretty impressive. Lots of blinky lights. Fuck happened here. My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Uh oh. Just that could be a problem. Me. <laughs> ah! Okay. Now let's go inside. This is where the fun begins. I've already played about an hour of this game already, so I'm not going to... I play about the first hour, and um, it's actually a... It's a pretty interesting game. Let's put it that way. Pretty interesting experience, to say the least. I won't reveal anything, so... Oh, here we go.
Alright, let's put our card in and save our game. There we go. Take a look at our map. Okay, there's our save point. I don't think anything's down this way. Let's go look. Nothing here. Okay. way see if there's anything down here I like to just check oh we were just here okay stupid me No, I don't think we'll be crossing that way, so we got to look. Do we have anything here to pick up? No, I don't think so. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to hop in this, this tube here. Pop out the old exit door here, and oh, there, there's fire. Check out that fur. Burn this place up. All right. Let's see if I can get display space flight control. Up. Oh, sorry, the door's sealed. Can't go through there. Let's take a look at the computer, see what we got going on here. Ah, sir, they're decommissioning her. Well, seeing all the damage I've seen so far, I, I, I can understand why. Yeah. I want to decommission a ship that's going to be falling apart. It's falling apart. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of a good idea. All right, ethanol. Hmm. Again, we're going to build a funny car or something in this game? Alright. Because that's what you need ethanol for. Alright, so let's cross this little bridge and see where we go. Alright. Real simple. Real simple like. Whoa. Whoa, be careful. Go real slow. Whoa! Crap. Oh. Damn, man. Just... God damn. Yes, god damn indeed. <laughs> this will help. Alright, well, let's...
I like that lens flare. Ooh. Cause you cause you know in real life we all have ones we we get to see really cool lens flare. Anywho. Let's crouch. Go through here, look around. Anything I want to pick up. You always know working, yada yada. I do like the lighting effects in this game. I, you know, there's people complaining about this game, saying, well, this game is this and this, and it's hard to play. But they never say anything complimentary about some of the effects. Of this game has got some amazing lighting effects. I'm going to hit this, I'm going to lower that. Oh, we'll come up there in a moment to look, but we're going this way first. We're going back here because I think there's a secret. I believe there's a secret box. Yeah, there's a... Whoa. That could be an issue. Taking all that. Gonna go this way. I don't think there's anything this way. Nothing this way, so we're good. Some compound B. Unfortunately, I gotta leave my flare down here. Okay, that, a little of that, that's from, uh, one of the moon landings, I think. Some of that audio was. Or when they were circling the moon. What was the, uh, what was the Apollo mission? Was it Apollo 10? Or no, Apollo, uh, the one where they circled the moon before, where they didn't land on it. Was that Apollo 8? I can't remember. Anyhow, no, I think it was Apollo 8, well, like Apollo 8 or Apollo 10. I, I'll have to look at it. You know what? We'll turn it off. But I like to put these neat little things in here like that. I'm, I'm a nerd, as you can tell. All right. Hello? Anyone here? That beeping, that beeping usually means there's a save station around. So we're going to find it. Ooh, let's hear. Passcode required. Ah, I gotta find a passcode. Ah. Jeez. But we'll find one. We're gonna take a walk and find one here. By the way, everybody that's joining us in chat, thank you. We appreciate it. Um... I know. Oh, you know what? I walked past it. Here we go. See? All right. Now we got our map updated. Nice. We'll come back to that in a second. Here, let's fire this bad boy up. This is the emergency generator. Even in, uh... In this modern era game, and they still like to do little quick time events. I'm just, I'm not a big fan of that. Never have been. All right. So we are now. Wait a second. Let's take a look at the terminal here. Langley, if you know, if you're looking for a stash, I've moved it. Okay, code is 0340. All right. So 
so Apollo is the AI. So you see the name Apollo. You're gonna and Working Joes. Those are our droids. Harris Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down. Kill the power. And don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your report. Oh. Well, there's some people running. Where are they going? Three people running. Where are they going? Perhaps we'll go find them. Let's save our... So let's take a walk around here and see what we have. There's a door. What do I have here? A box. What's in the box? Ah! Things we could all use later. A blasting cap. That's, a, that's handy. We need blasting caps. There's the door. What do we have in here? Let's look around. Some scrap. And... Scrap. Ah! Do we have the parts to build? We do. See, it was good that we picked that stuff up before we left. Some more bonding agent. Let's see. Can we make another one? Let's see. Let's see if we can make another one. Hang on a second here. Nope. I need more. I need an SC, I need an inject. Well, let's see. I need some more compound B and another injector. We can find those in our little as we walk around. Okay, so this door looks like she's sealed. Okay, that door looks like she's sealed. So, do you think I need one right now, or I can wait? I think I can wait. I don't need one right now. Okay, game is saved. All right, so let's head to the security checkpoint. Wow. Whoa, lights just went out. What's going on here? Oh, crazy. All right, we're going to get under that, and then we're going to walk this way. What do we got here? Oh. Blasting clamps and a flare. Hmm, what can we make with that? We'll find out later. Now, for one thing I've noticed, I've already played through this, I've already played about through the first hour of this game, and I've already noticed that your drops are totally random. So, what I got in my first one, not necessarily I'm going to get this go around. What happened here? Wow. That's a good question. That's a good question. What did happen here? This place looks trashed. Jeez. 
Let's take a look around while we're at it. See if we can get through any place. Okay, what do we have here? Nope, that door is sealed. Let's look at this door. I don't know. I think we're going to need an ion torch for this door, so we'll have to come back later. Ooh, a Viticon. A Viticom. I'll tell you, in the 70s, man, especially they always thought, okay, Big Boxy is going to be the future. Big and Boxy is the future, but no, alas, it is not. Let's go up the staircase here and take a look around. Here is the Sebastopol Space Flight Terminal. It's in English, and I believe that is Chinese. Yep. Or it's in Japanese. If I'm wrong. Don't, please, don't get mad. It might be... I... Wait a second. It's gonna... It's our ship. Wow. The there is the Torrens. Oh man. Ah, it's just a pisser. All right, so let's go down here. Well, we're gonna need to go restore power, so we gotta go find some power. And I don't think we're gonna be getting through that door. Oh, video arcade! The Kredob Amusements. Yes, this looks like a very 1970s video game. Run around Rex. Neat story about Alien, the first one. Uh, my dad was a cop, uh, in this uh, is a retired police officer, and used to work an extra job at a drive-in when Alien came out in '79. And he told me that what did he say? I think he uh, people were freaking out in the uh, in the drive-in, and they had to, something along the lines of having to haul off. Uh, or have to, you know, calm people down because of the movie. It's the craziest thing. Well, wait a second. The door just opened. The light's moving. Very weird. Uh-oh. Whoops. Can I take that wrench with me? Oh man. Some handy stuff here. A wrench and a, 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 you know, a torch mask and some plastic forks and an ashtray. Oh, crayons. Who knows when we'll need crayons in this game? Uh, instead, we got to listen to a stupid tape player. Uh. Let's get on the Sevasta link here. All right, let's use the emergency phone here. Pop on our little card and uh, save our game. There we go. 
Now let's see. You know, I would figure we need to get in to that sealed off area right next door, but how are we going to do that? How are we going to do that? Well, I'll be. There's a vent. Let's open it up. Jump in. Seals over us. Let's, uh... Let's go down the hole. Let's go down this, uh... Totally, totally safe-looking, uh... Duck work here. No, nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be afraid of. It looks like it's really safe. And let's open the vent. Here we go. Let's climb out. See, there's door 42. The answer to everything, everybody. Alright, so let's... Nope. I didn't want that. Go back to my medical kit, just in case. This whole damn place is falling apart. Just like a really crummy motorcycle. Ah, oh, what's this? Harold. Hi, Harold. I like how Harold has like 1970, kind of that 1970s big font on him. Let's press Harold's button and see what he does. Oh, he gets out of the way. Thank you, Harold. Ah, and there's some scrap. Ooh. I'm not that heavy. Jeez. All right, well, let's go this. All right, so let's head uh, forward. Uh-oh. That is not good. <laughs> so I guess we'll go under this piece of fallen debris, debris, as one would say. Let's look around here. Is there anything I can take with me? Anything in this tool case? Nope, sorry. Tool case is not... We can't open it. Whoa, what was that? Keep moving. Okay, maybe that's some good advice. Hmm. Here we go. All right. Well, what is this? Medical equipment? One of those things to jumpstart hearts? Could that be a dead body? Wow. Something stinks here in uh, in Denmark. I wonder what it is. Let's go up here and see if there's anything on the old... Uh, on the old CRT computer monitor. Nothing. No, nah, just a bunch of flashing. Just a bunch of flashing lights. Let's walk through this old door here. Oh, she opened. What's going on here? Did somebody just hear? Did I just hear a cat? Yeah. Is it in there? That was my wife, and yes, I believe that that cat was in the game. It was not one of our cats. No, it's not her cat. Just a cat on the station. Hmm. All right. Let's walk through here. Anything we can take besides this uh, girly magazine? No, I don't think we can take that one.
Though the smut I have seen in this game is surprisingly clean. Maintenance jack? What's that? I guess we'll have to go find one of those. I'm guessing some dude or some person's been sacking out here. Now, for everybody asking this... Whoa, there's a dead guy. That doesn't look too good. For everybody asking, no, this is not a Wayland yutani uh, facility. They usually keep theirs a lot cleaner and a lot brighter. And let's see if we can get in here. No, I think we're going to need an, a plasma torch. So we're going to have to go... We're going to have to go find one of those. We'll probably have to come back. Let's go down here. Do I see anything? No. Nothing I can take. Just a bunch of suitcases. Nothing. I do like the uh, the calculator. The classic uh, calculator on the side of the suitcase here. The old TI-80. The old TI uh, 80, uh, calculator. That's one of those big 1970s punch button calculators they don't make anymore. Whoa, what was that? Good grief. Uh-oh, there's some sort of laser. That was weird. That was a security brace. That's a security brace. Yeah, this this game is not really for the kids, by the way. The uh, uh, due to the language. That's got to be the exit up ahead. I can't really recommend this for you to buy for your, you know, for your eight-year-old or your ten-year-old for Christmas. Thirteen-year-old maybe. Wow, language. What did the marshals do to them? I mean, really? Why, why all the animosity against law enforcement in this game? What do they do? I hear the familiar beep. That means... Oh, man, a lot of junk on the floor. No, they were playing a game of chess, uh, apparently uh, got interrupted. Got a cat behind me, by the way. That cat's a dork. Yeah, I think I'm gonna... Bruce, it's Turner. Gotta deal with that wasted asshole again. This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We've got too much to worry about without babysitting drugs. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Okay, we'll let him sleep it off. Man, this place has gone to pot. Water dripping out of the ceiling. You know, power issues. Kind of reminds me of an apartment I had when I was younger. Well, I'm going to have to get a jack to open that. Let's go find it. Might be able to find it over here somewhere. Oh, oh. crap. Fuck. Well, I think I know we're going to get it. So let's go this way, everybody. Nice, happy thoughts. Nice, happy thoughts. Nice, happy thoughts. Nice happy thoughts. It could be worse. There could be homicidal maniacs after us. Wow. 
Let's walk around here. Is there anything we need to pick up? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. My complaint is this. <clears throat> Fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. Okay. Sometimes on the station where they said no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. No one knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked out. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified. Wow. Man, I know a person can have that much blood in them. Jeez. Alright, gotta pull out of this guy's cold, dead hands. Yeah, yada yada. There we go. Alright, so rusted out of his cold, dead hands. Let's take off the brace. Pop the door open. There we go. There we go. Pop it off. There we go. Is there anything I can take here? Some ashtrays, perhaps? That's a bunch of scrap. Somebody got beat up pretty bad. All right. The crew handbook. Hmm. They. You would figure in a future where you could go to space, you have cryo sleep, you know all that stuff. You. You wouldn't need a ledger book. You'd figure, hey, we got the technology. We could put it. We could put in a dress book, maybe, or, or calendar. Some piece of tech. No, 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 no. We don't. Not in this game. Slide the card in. It's already looked up here. I don't think there's anything to grab. So let's... Uh, welcome. Benevu. Welcome in. Benevenuto. Welcome to Sylvester Pool Station, which is a dirty scum hole of a place. I mean, God Almighty. I've seen places in the third world that have been cleaner than this place. Jeez. No, we're going to need a plasma torch for that, so I guess we'll have to come back. Let's go over here and see if there's any plans for a plasma torch, because I, I need one. I think we pick one of... I, I, I'm just curious, do you get a plasma torch now, or do you have to pick one up? Can you build one? Anywho, let's, we're going to go find out. So let's go this way. What do we have? Oh, boy. That's right, we got a door we can jimmy open.
There we go. Pop that off the door. Take a walk inside. Okay, here we go. TI calculator? Yeah, that might work. Okay, anywho. And by the way, for those that, uh, I'd like you, hey, if you guys are watching, I would love for you to uh, follow us here on uh, Twitch. Also, follow us on uh, Cinelinks.com for all your gaming, film, and TV news 24-7. 365. Anywho, that is Cinelinks.com. And also Cinelinks the game. You can pick that up at Amazon.com as well. Fun card game. We've been playing a lot of it around my house. So, anywho, back to the show. So, we're going to head out the door here. Doo -doo -doo, out the door. So, I'm just kind of curious. Why are all these body bags out here? I mean, are they, uh... I mean, are these are these prepped? Are they are they waiting? What's all right? Well, let's take this thing off the door. Oh no, it's a cutscene. And then some dude. Really, dude? Okay. Okay. Really? Turn around. Come on. Really. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, <laughs> that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on the station. Something you wouldn't believe. Something I wouldn't believe? Like what? You get it? Okay. Dude, holster the gun there, buddy. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. Why? What's in it for me? Place on the ship. Money? I, I, know I can trust you. I need to find comms. I need to contact my ship. I will say the skin textures on these uh, characters, they look great. This is your lucky day. The textures, the animations actually it's look pretty, pretty good. Seek some comms is in the Cystex bio. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. Watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble here. Okay? Okay. Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Alright there, Sunny Jim. Was that you following me back there? Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. This is Ringo. You're just some assholes. <laughs> we haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. One moment, everybody. I'll be right back. What the hell was that about? Why are you so damn aggressive? Everyone's running shit scared, keeping to their own, safer that way.
All right, so apparently a ride that we could have taken is gone because of this guy. We got to restore power. I guess we'll do that here shortly. All right. Got our mate. All right, can't go through that door. Big red X on it. So let's follow this guy. That real McCoy. Like the band. Like that, like the dance pop group from the mid '90s. The real McCoy. The same real McCoy that brought us uh, another night and their cover of "Come and Get Your Love." Or in Runaway. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. I'm guessing not. Anywho. Allow me. Place is open. Needs a special touch. Thank you, Sonny Jim. What are you waiting for? Hit the button. Oh, you're not going to do it for me? Wow. You sure know how to make a girl feel special. Keep the noise down here. There might be people around. I'd appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on. Right now. Listen. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship. I need to know what's going on right fucking now. Fine. They like to use the F word a lot in this game. I'm There's I'm starting killer. to find out. <laughs> what does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, a psycho person? A monster. Like a kraken? Shoot the crap out of them. Now shut up. You're making me nervous. How you okay? Trouble. We'll have to go around them. Follow me. Okay, Axel will follow you. Like we really don't have much of a choice. God. Friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I'm pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone They're not be for show. Sure. Something. They are. It's called surviving. Surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear. It makes people crazy. I've Crazy? So I'm guessing, Axel, you're a Scotsman? Alright. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. I don't know when you'll get another chance. Well, let's look what we have here to grab. Anything I really need. No, down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. Let me save my game real quick. Here we go. This way. Wow. 
What now? I'll watch the vent. There's another vent right here somewhere. I marked it so I wouldn't forget it. How about if I look around? You're not going to remain until you find that vent. Gotta watch your battery power here because we can't waste it. Gives you the willies. I think we found the vent right there. There we go. Excellent. Is this it? Hold on. I'm coming. I knew he was here somewhere. See? Got it covered. Here, let me give you some light. Ha ha ha. It's not smart to stay here too long. So that's your ship, huh? Quiet. I hear something. Yeah, I hear you. Will do. Gotta go meet the others. Something's going down. Something's going down, everybody. Something's going down. I want to piss him off. Feels like we're standing around ready to die. Follow me. All right. All right, let's follow him. Did I? Am I going in the right direction? Everybody, I apologize. I had to place you on mute there for just a second. I'm on a sneezing attack all of a sudden for some reason. I think I just came this way, didn't I? I did. Wrong way. Let's go back this way. What's the emergency? Someone else has been here. Everyone, stay alert. Keep your guns tight. Shoot anyone you don't know. Stick around yeah. while I check our stock. Hey, we can do this. Yeah. Too many to take on. Take on? We still got to get through there. The door at the end. 
Well, I did. What's up? You decide to help yourself a little? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Wow. He's been with me the whole time. We're missing food, ammo, meds. If it's not one of us, then we were right. Someone's been in here. This is no good. We're supposed to be secure down here. What about the hot dog lately? I've just come from there. It's so nice. Eyes open. Keep your guns ready. Someone's gonna have to tell the boss. Boss? He's a goddamn store clerk. <sighs> yeah? Maybe you think you could do better. He's not saying that. I'm just saying that... Just stop saying. And help me check the rest of this stuff. That is, if you could keep your trap from running for five seconds. Hey, out of the way, I was trying to collect that. Thank you. All right, let me save my game. That's why I think you do a lot in this game is save. Okay. So let's head in here. All right, so we turn the lights off. Shipping out papers were for a week ago. And am I supposed to be here today? Yada yada yada. So the two man rule. Okay, let's see. Toothpaste. Three cartons of smokes. Toilet paper. Industrial. Yeah, it sounds like stuff you, uh, Stuff you use for, uh. Oh, I am. I got tons of scrap. Hang on a second. So I can make another one. Yeah, it sounds like a uh, currency for prison there, I was about to say. All right, so let's go in here. Uh, are, are you going to let me through, or are you just going to stand there? Thank you, jerk. Uh-oh, we got to restore power. It's powered down. The assholes have cut us off. Got it. We need to activate both consoles at the same time to open it. I'll do this one. You go to the one on the other side. Okay. Okay. Ready. On three. One, two, three. Axel, behind you. Uh oh. Fuck you. Get here now. Got the thieving son of a bitch. You bum stick, you can take what you want. Get the fuck off me. Well, oh, he's dead. 
others are on their way. We need to go! No! Hey, you bastards! Move it! Shoot him! Shit, I think he's dead. They killed him. Come on! Okay. You killed that guy! Because he was going to kill me, you saved my life. This is about survival. Do you understand? Uh-oh. That's not good. Whoa, right through the hole. That looked painful. Yeah. We get a little bit of a xenomorph problem here. <laughs> yeah. Gotta keep moving. This isn't good. It's all smoky in here. Come on, I ain't got all week. Let's go. Chop, chop. And there's our transport coming now. Are we going to open? Come on. Wow. All right. Well, that was an interesting first chapter. We get blown out of a ship. We land. We help beat somebody up. We get a gun pointed at us. Yada, yada. And then uh, Xenomorph kills somebody. So I think I know how this game's going to go. So, By the way, for the folks that are joining us, thank you. I appreciate that. For the folks that are not, you need to join us uh, live in chat. Uh... Check us out also 24-7 at Cinelinks.com for all your TV, film, and gaming news and reviews and opinions. And uh, also, Cinelinks the Game, now available. Good. You can purchase it at Amazon.com uh, for a very special price. Anywho, we are playing Alien Isolation and we just got to see the, or we got to the tower station. Workplace solutions. That door looks like it's sealed. Okay, so we're going to rewire. Let's see what we can do here.
Okay, so we're back. Uh. Gonna update our map there. That's the Lauren System Lobby. I got two ways to go through here. I don't think we can go through this door. Door's locked. So is that one. Yeah, shooting at me for no reason. What? What's? What's that mess about? Jeez. Over here. Someone's here. God. Really, lady? Really? Jeez. There we go. Okay. First and only time I've actually needed a. Hypodermic. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's take all. Can't take any more sensors. Okay. find me and then you kill me. Hmm, class. Okay, a brand new room. Let's see what we have here. Take it all. I don't need a plasma torch, man. I gotta find me a plasma torch in this game. Doggone. Merciful crap. Over 
Really? Ah. Oh. Damn, son. Ah! Damn. First... First save I've actually had to load in this game. Jeez. We'll try it again. <laughs> An hour... Nearly an hour and a half into the game, and that's the first time I've actually had to reload. Let's look at our map. Before we leave, we're going to save. Oh, and whoever's joining us on the channel, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. Anywho, let's... Uh I'm gonna need the tuner, so I gotta go back and get the tuner. Okay. Was just looking around. Yeah, so I gotta get that tuner first. Alright, so we're heading back in. I guess that wired it up right on. All right, saving our game means we're heading back up to the old tower here. I've got three medic kits. Okay, good. Just checking. Locked, so we're gonna have to get a way to unlock the door. Means we're gonna have to crawl on our hands and knees here. Jesus, lady. I know. That's why I got it. <laughs> Jonatech, that's why we got the game is to uh as we like a, I like a little bit more tougher challenge. An access to her. She was trying to hack the elevator security. Circuits are fried, easy fix. Just need to find a new data cell. Alright, now we gotta find a data cell. Wow, really? You find me and kill me. Wow. That... Okay, let's just let's be careful here. Yeah, really. Let's do a rewire. See what we can do here at the rewire system. It does for some is it still showing Unity? Okay, for some reason it keeps doing that. Air purification. Turn off the air purification system. See if we can mess with these guys a little bit. All right, I'll need to get in there real quick. Hang on a second. Let's 
Ah, crap. So we got our domain frame systems. Okay. She went downstairs. Come on. Uh oh. Hang on a second. I'm not going down there. No way. She's got your hack tool. It didn't work. <clears throat> we'll find another way out. We've been here too long already. Man, these guys were not cool, man. Pulled a gun on me, man. The mess don't fly, baby. The mess don't fly. There's Texport headquarters. Let's see. Oh, there's a new map. Let's update our map. There we go. Looks like our IT department. <laughs> Alright, let me save real quick. One moment, everybody. I'll be right back. Hang on, everybody. Wait, right back. One moment. All right, everybody, we're back. We're jumping into the game right now. I just had to switch the source real quick. There we go. And jumping back into the game. Yeah, this is the game you wish you had an AK. But alas, I do like the survival aspect of it. I like that you have to actually think. Oh, look. I'm going to keep this, oh, six in the clip, one in the spout, all right, so we got a key card there, I, uh, what is this? What is this, IT services, wow. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay. And please follow us here at Cinelinks because uh, we would love to... Uh... I've 
that. Maxed out on sensors. Okay, so let's exit. Yes, and please uh, follow the channel here as well. Let's see, revolver ammo, take all. Okay, let's see. So we're just wandering around here. Compound B. We can make some uh, healing stuff. Actually, I'm going to do that real quick. I think I've got enough to make. Wow, this guy does not look like he had a good day. Oh, I know. Absolutely. Ooh, flashbangs. Take a look at our. Well, I am in here. I'm looking for a data cell. Ooh, all right. This is where you find all the fun stuff: smoke bombs, flesh bangs, the stuff that's important in the game. So we're searching IT here for a data cell, so we can hack doors. Good golly. Got enough darn scrap. Give me what I need here, people. Oh God. The flight recorder. All right. Well, this is sort of anticlimactic. <laughs> wow. Did I? I'm guessing this is not a good situation. Data cell, there we go. I guess we won't be retrieving this, so let's go back to the door. Let's see if it lets us through. Let's, let's try the tuner. Oh wow, so how do I do this? Okay, so this is the first time I've used it, so... The thing it looks like a, the thing looks like a hand grenade. Okay, there we go. Now, ah, oh, wow, this just isn't my day. <laughs> Let's see, I get blown out of a ship. The thing I'm coming for, well, you know. Good, it is in the right game now, thank you. 
Yeah, I had to go and adjust it manually. I'm doing this through the PS4, and the problem is, is that it, I, I've run into this issue on occasion with the PS4, where it'll, it'll, uh, it'll occasionally take over what it's supposed to do, but then other times it won't. So I, I, it's kind of weird. Kind of sounds like the IT department I work in. <laughs> hey, we need you to do something for us. Uh, you know, uh, put your other stuff aside and do this for us. Okay, that guy's dead. So Amanda's not very happy. She's not had a good day. Let's see. Uh, let's recap so far. Blown out of a ship. Uh... Uh, basically meets up with a crazy man who ends up, uh, uh, who ends up getting killed by a xenomorph, you know, has had to knock out a couple people. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's been one of them kind of days. And now, uh, you know, the flight recorder is, uh, pretty much screwed. <laughs> All right. So, uh, yeah, by the way, for the folks that have not seen Alien Isolation, this game actually is, um, it's not bad. I actually like the game. I really like this game. I'm, uh, it has, it has a Resident Evil feel, uh, to it, or a Biohazard Resident Evil feel to it, uh, to me. I like it. Give me a break. Aw, oh, crap, I gotta break a lockdown. So, where am I doing this? Oh, do I have to hop through the little tunnel? Go through the little uh, air duct here? Alright, there we go. Oh! Let's see. Bondo. Well, I've got everything else but the scrap. Thank you. I've just got way too much scrap. I mean, come on. You want to go out this door? What's that just there? Let's go through here, see what's going on. If I can go this way. Looking around, see what I got here. Cause I... Well, I like this a little better. I, I th this is very Alien seventy nine to me because it's like Alien seventy nine. I mean, I uh, I'll see if I can pop this door. I think this door, yeah, this door's locked. We're got to find another way out. Do I have to work? To the, do I have to go to the workshop now? Oh, this is gonna be fun. It freaking exciting. All right. I can get this damn alarm off. I mean, really? Let's see if we got something here in the old Sebastian Lake. Ah, hell. Yeah, I'm finding a lot of super glue in this game. I didn't, I didn't know in the future super glue is going to be one of the most vital components available for anything. Because who doesn't like super glue? There we go. That's what I'm watching.
Anyway, I can get this damn klaxon off. Ah. Oh, looky here. One of my favorite things. Pop brace off. Eh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and the cat. That's... Because that's the important thing. That's what made the movie, the cat. I mean, let's let's be truthful here, pal. Okay, disable security lockout. Alright, well, we got to find how the hell to disable the lockout. I don't think we're going to be able to get through here. There's no power. Ah, uh, We were just here. Now I gotta find how it turned the damn alarms off. Jeez. How did I get in here to begin with? Yeah, the cat. Well, what did the cat do? He just kind of... What did Jonesy do? Nothing. He just kind of hung out. That was the whole point of the cat in the movie. It's not like the cat hit the airlock or anything and you know, blew somebody out. You know, blew him out the... Uh... Anywho. Alright, so let's go back in. Okay. Alright, let's go through the... Really? I was already here. I mean, uh... I guess I gotta go find... Damn. Just gonna save my game real quick. Alright, there we go. I don't get the damn alarm off. Point of interest disable security lockdown. Well, see, the problem is I gotta figure out how to disable the damn thing. Is there some hacking minigame I've got to engage in to turn off the alarm? Because it's really getting obnoxious. I think I was just here. Really? I mean, can I, can I just like... I know it's not in there. And we just went through this door. Can't go through that door. Beware of bag theft. Even in the future, you gotta watch your bag. Okay, is there something of interest in here? It says there's something of interest. Oh. That's how you disable the lockdown. Really? I just have to... Oh, crap. Jesus. Hide under the desk.
Wow. So you're the one responsible for releasing this son of a bitch into the environment. Good job. Great job. Except this Ripley's an idiot. We broke into Apollo's main frame. Wow, man. This place is trashed. I know. It's about sneaking around. That's kind of what I'm doing. Station looks pretty, uh, pretty trashed out there. Oh, uh, I get to use this and play pong. It's like playing pong. Okay, grenade. Weird thingy. V shape. There we go. Jesus. Wait a second. Oh, thanks, Xenomorph, for helping me out. I appreciate it. she doing good she's crawling up in the ceiling maybe she will leave me the she'll leave me alone so let's see the guy I knocked out earlier is he still there nope they hauled his body away I want to get down that hall. Yes, it does. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, no, nah, I just look at it like this. Amanda Ripley's just having a really bad day. She's having a pisser of a day. Let's search this. Let's search this meat sack.
Oh, hang on a second. Anything I can craft. One dead meat sack. Yeah. Hear the fear in my voice. I am scared. Guess what we're going to do? I'm going to craft a smoke bomb. Yeah. Let's just be real careful here now. Let's go back down here for a second and just go look around. There's a way I could rewire and get out of here, but no, we're gonna go to the station. Eh, stupid xenomorph, causing problems. I jumped up there a little while ago. Let's see. Eh. 